At the dawn of the 20th century, classical physics reigned supreme, yet puzzling experiments, like the way objects radiate heat and how light interacts with matter, hinted that reality at its smallest scales was far stranger than imagined. The revolution began in 1900. Max Planck, struggling to explain blackbody radiation, reluctantly proposed that energy isn't continuous, but comes in discrete packets or quanta. Five years later, Albert Einstein took this further, suggesting light itself consists of these quantum particles, which he called photons, brilliantly explaining the photoelectric effect. The old rules were starting to crack. Niels Bohr then applied these quantum ideas to the atom in 1913, picturing electrons in specific, quantized orbits, explaining atomic stability and spectra, but it was still a partial picture. The true upheaval came in the mid-1920s. Louis de Broglie daringly proposed that if light waves can act like particles, then particles like electrons must also act like waves. This wave-particle duality became a cornerstone. In 1925, Werner Heisenberg formulated matrix mechanics, a radical new mathematics for quantum systems. Almost simultaneously, in 1926,